Hey guys, it's Dana. I'm test driving the Mazda CX-9. It's the 2018. Fully loaded and I've been giving it a good whirl as we did a few college visits this week. So I have the trunk release right here on the inside. This lets you know if you're staying in your lane or not when you're driving on the highway. Kind of a big help. Um, I like the steering wheel feature. It's, it's telescopic, it's manual, not automatic. So you release a lever and it goes up, it goes down, it comes in, it comes out, hence telescopic, duh, I guess, right? And then if you'll note, everything you need is right at your fingertips. It's like being in a captain's seat. You can handle the radio, your phone calls. You can do your cruise control from here. Set it on, set it off. Windshield wipers front and back, windshield wiper control. Did I mention auto high beam? And there's a readout display right here on the vehicle. It lets you know what you've got open, what you've got closed. And it also tells you how many miles per gallon you're getting. And I'm averaging about 18.7 on about 170 miles, going around Pittsburgh, up and down hilly terrain, stopping, starting, never really solid driving, not real highway driving. So yeah, pretty good gas mileage. It actually has three rows of seating and we're gonna find my one son hiding out in the back but anyway that's layer one and then you go to layer two back there and it also has cargo space seats two and three those rows both flatten down so you increase your cargo space and something we've highly enjoyed have been those back screens i have one as you guys all know with a broken arm or i'm sorry a double fracture on his wrist and a bone chip and instead of being in the back seat and letting everybody see through he's had privacy so we pulled those screens up i have the moonroof sunroof whatever you'd like to call it this part is pull and manual but then of course the window itself is automatic by touching and if you don't want it to do that you can actually um also just pivot it so it's open just a tad to get some air. I've done both configurations. Look, we finally are seeing a blue sky in Pittsburgh. Hey, what's that about, right? All right, the seats are really comfortable. I have heated seats in the front as well as a heated steering wheel, fully automated controls right here to go ahead and direct both the heat and where it's blowing. And each side has its own control, or I can snap it on for dual control. This incredible um, display screen is um, driven manually by my controls right here. If I hit home and we look up, it'll tell you right where you are. And you can do your music from here and your navigation screen as well. Um, and here's some other interesting information. This is touch screen. So if I go here and touch, I'm actually getting the controls right on the screen and you can touch and move through as you want to, which was nice whenever I'm programming where we are and driving, I actually have to be stopped to do that in full stop. Again, locking automatic or power windows and it drives real nice. So one other feature, you've got the sport. All I have to do is touch this button and you go right to, into sport. Um, it's a nice feature and why do I like it? Because if I'm getting on to a highway ramp and I want a little more mm to the car, I just go ahead and click that on and it's one step easy. My parking brake is exactly the same way. There are cup holders and you have your USB ports, spacious right inside of here. It's a good family car, definitely with teens, hockey bags. Not sure how much longer we'll be playing hockey with the injury we've got. Second one in the last six months. I guess you all have been following me, you know that. Um, let's see, and really good sound system. I wish it weren't a royalty issue or I would totally show you the Pitbull station and rock it out. It just is incredible sound. I've been nailing it between 37 and 40. Yeah, I'm not a teenager, but I can tell you the sound is impeccable. All right, so that's about it inside the Mazda CX-9. I'll give you a little more of a view from the outside so you get an idea of the seating. And I'll talk to you from the next vehicle.